Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to another video. Um, in this video, I'm going to be covering my eToro portfolio. Now, this is going to be a very, very different approach than my Webull um, portfolio. My Webull portfolio is, in my opinion, a more conservative approach to, um, you know, the stock market. And my eToro portfolio is going to be sort of the, you know, Wall Street best version of how to um, play the stock market. And this is either going to be very good all very very bad and this could end very badly so that's why i only have um, 370 us dollars in this portfolio now what is going to be in this portfolio um i'm gonna have i'm gonna pick a few hyper growth stocks or assets that i think might increase significantly over the next five years now that really is no rules to that i, I it is possible that i might sell out uh, of a position if I think it's not going to be favorable in the next five years and you know it might be a more trading uh, based portfolio I'm not sure um, exactly uh, I, I did just start this portfolio uh, I think last week uh, the reason I wanted to start this portfolio I originally wanted to start on interactive brokers but I could not figure out how to buy Bitcoin so I took my business elsewhere and I bought a few positions in Bitcoin, uh, in eToro, uh, mainly just Bitcoin. And uh, yeah, so I'm going to go through my positions in uh, this portfolio. I have UNG, United States Natural Gas, and I have Bitcoin, right? So let's look at UNG right now. Um, the reason I'm playing UNG is, uh, first off, UNG is a energy um, stock. Well, not a stock. It's a, it's a, it's a trust, but... Yeah, I, I, I consider it an asset, right? So in 2018, UNG peaked at around $40. And uh, we do see a couple of supports here around 30 and 31. Uh, well, 31 and 32. And uh, right now, UNG is at $7.27. So, um, you know, in my opinion, UNG is not going away. I really don't think, uh, you know, this fund will go to zero necessarily. And if it does, well, I only have $50 into it. So I just lost, you know, $50. What's that? Like a night out, right? Um, and, you know, if you look at the one day, which uh, this isn't a purely technical play, but the one day suggests that uh, the 20 MA is pointing upwards and the MACD is, you know, also pointing upwards. Now, will this actually go back to 31? I am really not sure. But, you know, if, if we talk about energy, um, the energy, uh, well, the demand for energy is still going to increase, right? And um, I would like to know why natural gas is down so much, but I, I couldn't figure out why. But anyways, that's my first position in UNG. You know, this is going to be a very different approach. Um, usually when I buy stocks, especially in my Weibo portfolio, I will have a very, very good thesis. And then um, I, I use technicals to sort of um, enter and exit uh, my positions. So eToro, I feel like is more of a Wall Street bets approach to um, sort of the, the stock market, right? Um, so uh, Bitcoin, uh, we, we are seeing a lot of uh, people buying into Bitcoin right now because of the inflation. Uh, I, I heard Tom Lee on CNBC basically saying Bitcoin might hit 200,000. And, you know, do I believe Tom Lee on that? Uh, well, he said 200,000 in five years. It is possible, I think. But, um, you know, that's why I only have $50 into it because I, I don't exactly have a, a very, very sort of uh, optimistic view for Bitcoin. But, you know, what if I'm wrong, right? So at least I have some exposure into Bitcoin. Um, so, you know, that's my sort of reason for Bitcoin. We're also seeing a lot of countries try to buy Bitcoin to sort of uh, stave off inflation. And I, I don't know if that'll ever work, but, you know, we'll see. We'll see. I, I do have uh, some posi positions in Bitcoin, right? Um, so I wrote some things here. Um, so yeah, I think this is either going to be a good or bad example for investing in things that are extremely out of the market. So what do I mean by out of the market? Um, what I mean by that is basically investing in assets that are not in the S&P 500. Um, so, you know, I, I do have a couple of positions that are not in the S&P 500 in my Weibo portfolio, mainly Palantir, SoFi and Robinhood. But um, Palantir is trying to get in the S&P, SoFi is a bank, 
and Robinhood is a brokerage. So all three of these things are actually pretty essential in the market, I think. Uh, might be wrong there. Um, so those are not extremely out of the market. Uh, UNG is technically a uh, sort of um, energy play. And I, I think Bitcoin is the only one that's out of the market. Uh, but I will be adding some uh you know cryptocurrency miners in the future so that could change uh so i have another one here so it's going to be a case of having different accounts that have different types of holdings so that there is a psychological barrier between each of them and you don't get tempted to risk more than you initially put into each account so what i mean by this is that right now i have 370 dollars in this portfolio I am not planning on adding any more into this portfolio, right? So uh, by doing that, I, I, I don't uh, risk more than $370. I, I'm just going to assume that with this portfolio, $370 is gone, right? I, I'm just I'm investing in assets that are so risky that I, I don't even know um, where they will go in the next um, five years. So um, I'm just going to write this $370 off, but I am going to try my hardest to grow this account. I'm going to pick um, some quasi risky stocks, but I'm going to try to pick ones that make sense, uh, at least to me. Um, and you know, uh, if this portfolio does a 5x in let's say three years, right, um, then I, I will have uh, $1,500. And this also opens me up to um, you know, being able to talk about uh, more speculative stocks on my channel, I think, and, you know, having a position in them. Uh, so, yeah, I, I think I'm going to end that off here. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Have a nice day and stay safe. Also, don't do this. Don't don't copy my plays, okay, uh, on eToro. Uh, so, yeah, like and subscribe.